Hi friends, this is my Samsung Galaxy S3 running the Fox Sound ROM. Uh, it is a Jelly Bean based ROM. It is based on the leak Samsung Jelly Bean. Uh, so I just thought I'll do a brief running of it. I know I did a video earlier saying that I don't like this. But my phone is running into a peculiar problem. When I tried reinstalling Liquid Beta Smooth ROM, Liquid Smooth ROM and Super Nexus ROM, Wi-Fi is not connecting with the phone. So it, I had to go back to this ROM. This ROM as I said it's a pretty big ROM, it's around 750 MB big. Uh, you get all the necessary Samsung features in this, which I used to like a lot, which I used to try that other two ROM miss. One of the Samsung camera, here you go, Samsung camera, I wish it was a model, the Samsung camera, I get the FM radio, you can see there's a bit of lag, the lag is crept in which was not than the Jelly Bean other two ROMs I get uh, let me see the feature which I love the most I get the FM radio over here I get the Samsung video player sorry the Samsung video player and I get the play music as my standard music player the other two next uh, Jelly Bean ROMs had the few defects which I didn't like was no FM radio which I use a lot Second was it used to give a uh, music player it used to be the uh, donut music player 1.6 which is up and it was unstable. I used to have memory leaks issues. That is the phone gets stuck all the time. Okay, when you install this ROM, they give you option of file launchers, Apex, Nova, MyUI launcher. I tried before this MyUI launcher, but it really sucks. It made this phone really really slow. Then the touchways, which I was never a fan of, and this jelly bean. It turned out to be a hollow launcher HD. But like I said, you can see it's some kind of delay. If you see my Super Nexus video or my Liquid Smooth uh, ROM video, it was very smooth. ICS is never slow, but this phone is as uh, fast as the ICS. I don't see any performance improvement. You can see it's fast, but there is a lag. There's a clear lag. You see? Uh, Jelly Bean, there was no lag. The thing about Jelly Bean, it's not faster than ICS, but you know, the transitions are way smoother. As smoother as an iOS and Windows Mobile. I might go back to the other two ROMs, but I just need, you know what this The Wi Fi to connect. There's no point in having this phone without Wi Fi. 3G is really expensive here in Dubai. And these are just a few apps which I've installed Light Manager, Temple Run. See, look at this example of the Samsung unwanted feature, video hub. Network not available. It's not even available in Dubai. There are certain features that I don't think so is needed at all. Let me just check. Video hub. Let's look, have a look. See, video hub is not available in this country. This ROM has removed many features. Google talk, chat on, uh, music hub, game hub. They've removed all this on their own. So I don't know why they kept video hub. This ROM is made by an Italian, maybe he wanted it for his country, Italy. This ROM was earlier known as Bar Barista ROM for S2. I used to, I have a video running it on my S2, it, it made my S2 really fast compared to stock. But this ROM, I don't know, it feels the same as my Samsung Galaxy S3 stock ROM. Um, it's running J Jelly Bean, but you, like I said, you won't notice the difference. That's what Samsung made it into. Okay, another thing which I wanted to tell about this ROM was I don't remember actually. Okay, the differences. You can see. Uh, you can expand the notification. The major changes in Jelly Binder you can expand the notifications. And uh, you can see the brightness settings is over here. This was the update with Samsung gave. Then you can see the shortcut of the notifications. Like I said, this is just about it. It's fast, it's not, not smooth at all. I just wish the Jelly Bean ROM would somehow connect to my Wi Fi. You lose many of the bloater, which is not at all required. That is AccuWeather, you get, um, the, like I said, the Video Hub. No, Video Hub is there, the Music Hub, the Game Hub, all are removed. No Google Talk, no Google Maps, and all. But despite that, it's bigger than Samsung. Samsung's official ROM is 700 MB, this is 750 MB. And it's said to be performance, but I don't see any performance gain. 
And yeah, the f- worst part of this ROM is, and uh, typical Samsung ROM is, you're getting both Google Now as well as S Voice. Like example, what is the weather outside? Weather. Sometimes it doesn't pick it up. What is the weather outside? What is the weather outside? Okay, this is our Google now. It's very fast, but sometimes the voice works, sometimes the voice doesn't work. And I get S now. I wish they could integrate both the features. With the S now, you can update your Facebook, you can update your Twitter, send messages and all. And it gives you a robotic voice, but it's very slow. Let me just try. Let's see. I hate this voice. What is the weather outside? Here is the weather for Cambridge, Massachusetts. I don't know how am I in Cambridge. What is the weather of Dubai? The weather for Cambridge, Massachusetts. I don't know. What is the what is the weather in Dubai? Here is the weather for Cambridge, Massachusetts. You can see the question. What is the weather in Dubai? And it comes out with Cambridge. Like I said, and you can see the lag. That's what I was talking about. What is the weather in Dubai? It's 32 degrees and clear in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. Google now is definitely, definitely better. I wish they could remove S voice or give us an option of installing it either. Uh, this is just about this ROM. If I go to the setting, you can see there's a clear la- lag, it's choppy, it's not smooth at all. But like I said, I have, it's like sleeping with the enemy. I need uh, Wi Fi, so I have to stick with this ROM. I'm not at all. Not pretty, not satisfied. It's not great. The other two ROMs are really great, despite the known issues. It was fast, really fast, smooth. Mm, you can see. I hit this button. It takes some time. See? Yes, it. Uh, I because of the S voice, the home button there's a lag. Anyhow, just a brief overview of this ROM. I will. I hope I can improve my videos further, and I hope by the next update I can get Wi-Fi running in either of the two pure breed Jelly Bean ROMs. Okay, till then, Tata.